A KHS student tells the Kirkwood Call about how mental illness has affected them. I think it's been something that I've dealt with for a long time. I've had depression for about five years because I remember it even in seventh grade when I actually started to feel depression. I felt just so sad and alone and I couldn't really explain it to anybody. It's one of those things where you aren't able to put it into words. If I were to try to, it was just kind of trying to figure it all out on my own, which led to just suffering and pushing it down and eventually that became me not wanting to be alive anymore. Really, it's still an everyday thing. Honestly, I think once you talk to somebody or someone notices what you're going through on their own, that's a big step for things to change. And I didn't reach out for help. I had self-harm on my wrists and it was my mom who first saw it and approached me. She kind of flipped out and was like, hey, why didn't you tell me? But you know, it's really hard because it's just one of those things where you really don't know how to tell anybody because it's not something you want to talk to your family about because they really care about you and you don't want to burden them with all your pain. After my mom saw it and asked me about it, she called my therapist and then my therapist suggested a psychiatrist. They've all been helping me and kind of talking to me. They prescribed medicine and that has really helped me to just balance everything out. My medication really helps, and I know a lot of people aren't proponents of it, but if it makes me truly feel better and balanced, then it's worth it for me. When you have both depression and anxiety, I guess I could describe it like a constant internal battle between what I need and what I can do. I know a lot of it seems like an attention-seeking thing, but for some people, it's really just not about the attention. It's about our feelings and not knowing how to deal with these feelings. Hey, I'm having a really rough time right now and I just don't know what to do. I don't know, I feel like you're just doing this for attention. Besides depression, I've also dealt with anxiety my entire life. Sometimes it's just silly things like I'll be eating during class and I'll just be thinking, oh my gosh, everybody is staring at me, are people hearing this? And then. Sometimes my anxiety will just sneak up on me like a panic attack during school and I'll have to leave because I literally just cannot be around anyone else. I know it sounds really stupid, but I've started meditating recently and actually it's helped me kind of mellow myself and recover from an anxiety attack. I think my rock bottom was a mix of so many things last year on finals. First, my grandma and grandpa, who I was very close to, they passed away and that was so hard. I was getting help for all the things with my grandparents and I was sort of in a solid place, but about four months later I found out that my cousin had been murdered by her husband. 
A lot of it was my family, but the normal teenage stuff too, like dealing with friends and relationships. That all really takes a toll, and especially with anxiety and school, it's a really hard combination. So everything really happened back to back, and I never had a moment to breathe. My whole life became just trying to figure out what was worth it and what was not, and who could support me and who couldn't. I think for me, the hardest thing has been doing everything I can so that I do not revert back to my old bad behaviors, not self-harming or keeping my feelings to myself and actually trying to talk to people. With my anxiety, it's a constant worry and it's a worry that doesn't go away. And with depression, it's a sadness that never goes away. I have two really good friends that have been there through all of it to tell me not to be strong because you can't always be strong, but it's also okay to feel weak. One thing I wish everyone could understand about mental illness, I wish other people knew that it's not you being crazy or there's nothing wrong with having a mental illness. Approximately 105 Americans die by suicide every day. There is one death by suicide in the United States every 13 minutes. Not all people who die by suicide have been diagnosed with a mental illness and not all people with a mental illness attempt to end their lives by suicide. If you or a friend need help, the KHS counselors are always available to talk. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 1-800-273-8255.